here's what the command looks like on the Pine phone. And it, it prints out a little bit of a help. You can also do YPRI flat with the capital H flag to get a couple example uses. So now I have the Pine phone and I'm going to actually install the YPRI scripts I wrote, I wrote to change your MAC address and your host name and I'm going to enable it at boot. So now I'm cloning the YPRI project off of GitHub. I will paste the command in the description. So now we have the YPRI, all the files there. As you can see, there's a YPRI directory. Now all I have to do is change directory into YPRI. At that point, all I have to do is run the install.sh. So that's what I'm going to do now. Bash install it's hard to type with one hand but I'm doing the best I can so now I'm running the install.sh it is now installing YPRI to the phone so do I want to install identity at each boot using system D so I hit yes when it asks if I want to install a new identity at each boot so it is now doing so so actually, it is all finished now. So now I have a new MAC address uh, for each boot. Every time I turn on the phone, it's going to be a new identity for at least for Wi-Fi. Okay, as you can see on the screen, now you can see the YPRI command is already running as a systemd service. So now I'm going to check my MAC address. Uh, okay, and as you can see, my MAC address is right there. It is in the clear and I'm sharing it because it's not my real MAC address and it will also uh, start at every boot and give me a new identity for the Wi-Fi. It did change and it is running as a service. Wi-Fi MAC hostname changer and network disinfo. So as you can see everything worked as it should and I hope you like this video. Like it, share it, and subscribe and I'll be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.